Some extra protection is coming for livery cab drivers who work in dangerous areas. They will be wearing bullet-resistant vests. And drivers say it's another way to help keep them safer on the streets. And it comes as one of their fellow drivers remains in ICU after being shot. Eyewitness News reporter Carolina Lead has more. Cab driver Edwin De Jesus is one of the first to put on a bullet-resistant vest as part of this new pilot program. He believes it could mean the difference between life and death for fellow cabbies who work dangerous hours in tough neighborhoods. It's scary because imagine we're out there trying to make money to, to live. Security USA donated the 12 vests worth nearly $6,000. The New York Federation of Taxi Drivers is also asking retired police officers to donate their vests too. Federation President Fernando Mateo says the $450 vests are another layer of protection for drivers in high crime areas. We have cameras, we have partitions, we have GPSs in a lot of the vehicles and that has helped us reduce uh, robberies, uh, assaults and murders by over 90 percent. The Federation plans to put these vests in the hands of drivers in what they call three high-risk areas, East New York, Brooklyn, the South Bronx, and Jamaica, Queens. The private program comes on the heels of the Trevor Bell shooting in South Ozone Park earlier this month. Surveillance video shows a suspect struggle with the victim, then point a gun at the husband and father of two. Mayor Mike Bloomberg and Police Commissioner Ray Kelly don't think the vests are necessary, but certainly understand cabbies' concerns. I do not think they need to do that, but if they do it as a private, their private institution, and they have a right to do it, and the commissioner is doing everything he can to keep crime down. Some drivers feel they don't have a choice but to put one on. At City Hall, I'm Carolina Lead, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.